Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. How do I lower this? Oh, wow. Hi, hi. You are the most beautiful looking group of people I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, let's do two, one, three. First of all, can you believe I'm holding one of those? This is so surreal. Wow. So this is, this is the famous room where all the winners come. Wow. Hi. Good evening. Uh, yes, yeah, please, shout, yeah. Hi, uh, Hippa Berry with Entertainment Tonight. Now, when you starred in Goonies and Indiana Jones, you were credited as Jonathan Key Kwan. What does it mean to win an Oscar with your real name in it? You know, when I started as a kid, I, I, I was, you know, it, I, it was my birth name, Key Hui Kwan. And then I remember uh, when it got really tough, my manager told me that maybe, you know, it would be easier if you were to have an American sounding name. Uh, and I was so desperate for a job that I would do anything. And it's insane uh, that I, at one point that I would, you know, try a different name, not the name that was given to me, but it can only show you how desperate I was to try to try to, try to make things different. Uh, so when I decided to get back into acting, which was three years ago, uh, the very first thing that I wanted to do was to go back to my birth given name uh, and to, to, to uh, tonight to see, to see Ariana open that envelope and say Ki Hui Kwan, that was a really, really special moment for me. And then immediately, I was so emotional, but the first image that I had in my mind was my mom. It was my mom who, uh, who is the reason why I am in America, who is the reason why I have a better life, I have all these opportunities. She, like I said in my acceptance speech, you know, uh, she sacrificed so much. Uh, she had a great life where we came from, and, uh, and, and she, you know, she, she gave all that up so that all her children, there's nine of us, there's nine of us, and every single one of them are so grateful to my parents. Yeah, so, and, and that, that, <laughs> I hope you're proud of me, so. Okay, yeah. next up, we have 101. Hi, Key. Hi. My name is Ryan Amoto on yes. behalf of the Academy Digital team. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. You mentioned in an interview, when you first got the role as Wayman, you were kind of hesitant to tell your family about getting the role, and it wasn't until the day before the trailer release that you called your family individually and told them that you're an actor now. Yeah. So how does it feel to call yourself an Oscar winner tonight and be here? Uh, you know, tonight my, 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 my family, a portion of them, I have a big family, flew in from Houston to, 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 to be with me tonight. Uh, so that was really special. And uh, during one of the commercial breaks, I, I, I ran up to Steven Spielberg, uh, and he gave me a big hug. He put his arms around me, and he says, Key, you are now an Oscar-winning actor. And hearing him say that meant the world to me, and, uh, and I, I, I still cannot believe it. Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, wow. Wow. Okay, can we move on to two, three, one? Hi. Uh, two, three, one? Yes, hi. Hi, congratulations. Amanda Champagne with Closer Weekly. If your younger self could be here now at the age of data and your younger Goonie brothers were here, what would they say to you right now? Well, my younger self uh, uh, would not know all the struggles that I went through to be here uh, because he was just having the time of his life being a kid, being on a set uh, with, with, you know, uh, on a pirate ship going down a water slide. Uh, and, you know, right before I, this, this night started, uh, Corey Feldman, one of my Goonies brother called, uh, I was talking to Carrie Green, and of course tonight, Jeff Cohen, uh, who is my entertainment lawyer, uh, is here tonight with me. He was, it was, he was in the audience, uh, and that's why I wanted to thank him, because uh, 
Uh, I, I love all of them so much. And every single one of them was so happy. Sean reached out, Josh, Martha, uh, and uh, you know, we are always bonded. Uh, uh, you know, we're family forever. Goonies never say die. And final question, two, three, two. Thank you so much. Hello, congratulations. I think, um, you know, a lot of people, I'm Mary Madaya from CBC Radio Canada. Uh, a lot of people think of you as a very positive person, relate to you in numerous ways. My question to you tonight is, you know, this is a very important moment in your career. How do you just stay humble and true to yourself through, through your whole career, through your life? It, it's, it's how I was brought up. It's how I was taught. Uh, and also, if that's why I always say, never forget where you came from. Because uh, if you forget that, all humility goes out the window. Uh, I remember how, how, how difficult it was for me. So that's why every time I walk on a movie set, I'm so grateful. Uh, this tonight was it certainly wasn't, you know, I, I, didn't, I, you know, I didn't think this was possible. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I don't ever want to forget that. And I always want to, uh, uh, I, 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 think, I think it's important to, 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 to appreciate uh, where you are. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm, just, uh, I'm just so grateful. Uh, I, I've said this, I, maybe some of you have heard it, uh, you know, I didn't think any of this would be possible. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, God, it has been so crazy. All of a sudden, my mind is drifting back to, uh, to the days when I lost my health insurance uh, during the pandemic when I, I couldn't get a job. Um, and you know, I, somebody asked me this earlier, do I have anything planned? What am I doing next? I don't know what I'm doing next. Uh, and, but I, all I know is the first thing tomorrow, I'm gonna to call my agent. Because <laughs> I, remember, I remember when I was struggling, I would, always, I would call my agent, I try not to bother them too much, but I would call them you know, once every three months, once every six months, and I would say, hey, you know, uh, is there anything out there for me? Uh, and the answer would always be the same, oh, I'm so sorry, there's nothing out there, but I'll continue to look. So hopefully when I call my agent tomorrow, he will give me a different answer. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you so thank, much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you all. I love you all. Love you, love you, love you, love you.